QuiltWorks integrates with the leading CRM and PSA solutions, but if you don't have a contact manager that QuiltWorks integrates with, or would prefer not to use a contact manager with QuiltWorks, QuiltWorks has a built-in contact database that allows you to store your company and contact information. You can access the contact database by going to the Contacts drop-down menu and selecting Look Up Contact, or by going to the Contacts icon on the standard toolbar. Here it pulls up the Lookup QuiltWorks contact window where you can search for companies and contacts using the company name, phone, contact name, email, or by a number of other fields that we have available from the company and contacts tables in the QuiltWorks database. You also have the ability to use operators like begins with, contains, or ends with, and you can easily search using any of the different fields available to you. Here I'm searching for QuiltWorks and you'll notice it brings up one record. This indicates that there's a company called Aspire Technologies Inc. and there's one contact associated with that company, John Liu. Now you might say that's kind of interesting. We searched for QuiltWorks, but we pulled up the Aspire Technologies Inc. record. It happened for a very specific reason, and we'll take a look at that now. If we go into the Edit Company page, we can see that we have our company name, but we also have AKA fields there as well, or also known as fields. These contain aliases for that particular company, and if you search for those aliases, or aka values, it will return the company in those queries. You also have other fields here on this page that are very useful, including the reference field, where you can include information about the company for quick reference, lead source information, all of their contact information, and you also have the ability to use custom text fields. And if you go over to the fields page, there's additional custom text, number, and date fields that you can utilize as well. On the main edit company page, you also have the ability to set terms for that company, set the company tax rate, and also assign a company account number or accounting customer ID. Also on the edit page is the contacts tab where we can interact with different contacts on the account. Now John Liu is our only account contact here, but he's also our primary, indicated by the P next to his name. We can easily add a new contact by hitting the end button and this is where you would input the contacts information. You'll note that there's some similar fields to our company page here, like our reference field. We also have the ability to set the account rep price profile, and if there's a specific contact tax rate, we can include that here as well. We also have all the custom text, custom number, and custom date fields that we would want to have available here, as well as a note section for the particular contact. We could also come in and edit an existing contact, we could delete the contact, or we can send an email to that contact as well. Companies can have multiple contacts associated with them, so another tool that we have that's useful is the ability to move contacts between companies. If we go up here and we search for JO QuiltWorks, we'll see that there's a second contact associated with this account. If we wanted to move this to another account, we can simply click on the contact or contacts that we'd like to move, making sure to select the target account last. Once the selections have been made, you can right-click and select Move Contact. Notice that it's removed from our query here, but if we go back to the original account that we were working with, you'll see that our second contact has now been moved to the Aspire Technologies Inc. company. One other useful tool to mention is the ability to clone a contact. To clone a contact, you will navigate to the Contacts tab in the Edit Company window. On the top right of that tab, you'll see a C button. This is the button you can use to clone a selected contact. As an example, let's say that we have a new contact for Aspire Technologies, Inc. We will select the contact we wish to clone and hit the Clone button. This will bring up the Clone Contact window where you can edit any of the fields from the Clone Contact record. When we hit OK, the new contact is created. As mentioned, we could create a new company from the Lookup QuiltWorks contact page, or if we go into an existing company, we could create new contacts by going to the Contacts tab and hitting New. There are other ways to add additional companies or contacts to the QuiltWorks system, and one of those ways is going to be going to Contacts and then Set Up Contact Manager. Here you have the ability to import contacts from a CSV or TXT file. It's relatively easy to do. What you do is have your existing CSV or TXT file, and you would then select it here for import. You would then go through and map the fields on your document to the fields that we have in the QuiltWorks system, and one thing to mention here is that when you're doing your initial import, you can have one contact associated with each company. If you want to add additional contacts, you can either go into the Edit Company page and add additional contacts there, or you can add additional contacts using the Data Manager. Once you've gone through all these steps and your contacts have been uploaded into the QuiltWorks contact database, 
they'd be searchable using different search functions that we looked at earlier. Another tool available to us in the Contact Manager Setup window is the Data Link Setup. If we click on Data Link Setup, this would show any existing data links that we have and it gives us the ability to create new ones as well. What a data link is, is determining how and when certain information is going to be passed between QuoteWorks and the Contact Manager. So in this instance, we'll create a new data link and we'll say that any time we go to retrieve our Build To information, we want to go out to the QuoteWorks Contact Manager and we want to read into QuoteWorks the terms that we have saved for that company. So we'll choose Company Terms in our External System field, Source, and then we're going to choose Terms in the QuoteWorks field as a description, and then we'll hit OK, and it'll be added to our list of data links. As you can see, it was very quick for us to create this new data link, and we could easily create multiple data links to manage what information is being passed between QuoteWorks and our Contact Manager. Searching for and adding a contact to a quote in QuoteWorks is actually quite easy. You navigate to the contact database, search for the company or contact that you'd like to use, select the contact, and then hit sold to, ship to, bill to, or all. And then you'll see that when we do that, the contact's information gets added directly to our quote. As you've seen, the QuoteWorks native contact database is a great alternative to integrating with a PSA or CRM solution. It gives you the ability to import, search for, and add contacts and companies to quotes and to manage those companies and contacts in a way that makes sense for your business. If you have any additional questions on the QuoteWorks contact database, feel free to contact your technical support team at 407-248-1481.